Silver Surfer. Gosh, this game is hard. This is the extent to what most people know about this game, when in reality, it's really not that bad or even that hard of a game. No, it's not the greatest game on the system, but at the very least, it's worth a shot. In the game, you take control of Silver Surfer, yeah, this guy, on his mission to restore peace to the magic domain. You can do this by recovering the cosmic device, leading us to positive number one, exquisitely detailed naming. There are six levels in the game, most of which you have free will of choosing the order of, not unlike Mega Man. On the other hand, not being powered up practically eliminates two of them. I recommend starting off with Reptile, then Fire Lord, then Professor, then input a cheat code. Each stage is split up into three sections, top-down shooting, horizontal shooting, and then a boss that takes about 10,000 hits too many to kill. After beating three stages and cheating through two, you're finally greeted to the magic domain. If you've gotten this far, this shouldn't be too bad. So what's so bad about this game? Well, nothing I can see. Sure, the game is hard, has one hit deaths and arbitrarily long stages, but then again, don't all shooters? It just happens that this one's been called the hardest one, and for what reason? Plus, hitting on the game for the sole reason that it's hard is one of the worst mistakes you can ever make as a reviewer. The one defending reason as to why you should hate this game is, yes, the backdrop on occasion can be obscured. And again, that's music! Silver Surfer is, for the most part, harmless. Sure, it's not great, but I'm really putting my foot down here. This game is not bad. If you're easily frustrated, steer clear of this game, but otherwise pick it up because, well, it may just be worth it.